Jackson drove a truck 300 miles in six hours. Mr. Jackson drove a truck 300 miles in six hours. And this will be quick, I think. How long will it take him to drive 450 miles? How long to drive 450 miles? Your suggestions, by the way, 7th grade just did this like two days, last week sometimes. So I know you've done this before because you were in 7th grade at this exact time. Nikki Kala? I divide 300 by 6 to see how many miles he goes each hour. And then what? And then I would. Well, it's kind of, well I'd, I'd find like the difference between 450 and 300 is 150, so I would. No, okay, no, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. Anybody? Throw at me what? How would you go about solving this? Nikki Kyle is like on the right path, and you could do it that way, but I think there's a better way to organize your thoughts on doing it. Because, yes. Nikki Connell was saying, well, if you take 6 into 300, you're going to find out how many miles he goes every hour, which would be 50 miles an hour. Well, at 50 miles an hour, if you go 450 miles, how long is it going to take? You could probably do that all in your head, but I would prefer we be able to organize it and write something down on paper to get a more uh, uh, organized even way to do it there. John? We uh, do 6 over W and then put um, 0 and W and then cross multiply 300 over 450. And that might work as well, but I'm wondering why 6 over W. Or, I guess it doesn't matter. You could just make a proportion box too if you do, do 6 over W. I, I like the thought on the proportion slash ratio box. How do we, how does that actually work? What's the best way to do that? Making equal ratios. you got the ratios here and the actual here. And you have to be careful how you do it because you can do it backwards if you're not careful. What two things are you comparing? You're comparing the miles to the hours, right? How many miles per hour? And it doesn't matter. You can put hours on top of miles on the bottom. It doesn't matter. But you're doing this. You're saying, OK, in 300 miles, he, it took him six hours. So for 450 miles, how long would it take him then? That's my suggestion on, on probably the best way that I would do it in the most organized way. And it is just equal fractions. 300 over 6 equals 450 over x, which ends up really being the same thing Nikki Collin did, because in reality, you can divide the 6 and the 300, reduce this fraction. 6 goes into 6, 1, and the 350 times. And then you can just, how do I make? Remember, this is not, you can't cross cancel things. These are equal fractions, so you can't cross a, a cancel across the equal sign. That's when they're times. When it's equal, you have to cross multiply. So then how do you go from 50 to 450? Multiply by 9. So 1 times 9 is it would take him 9 hours to do that. That would be, to me, the most logical, organized way to do it. There are a bazillion different ways to do this problem, by the way. Thank you, Shanks. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. 15. 15. Oh, Sure, that's the way you like to think about it. I'm good with that. But no. I mean, to each person has their own little way they think about problems, and I'm good with anybody that says, well, this is how I did it, as long as you're on the right path. Okay, but don't come to me and say, this is how I did it, and I keep getting it wrong without saying, well, why don't I do it your way just to see if your way works for me? I mean, so we're good with that? Because that's what they're going to give you some stuff like that. Uh, good, because we're scooching that head. And take out another blank piece of paper. So I want to make sure we're on the same page with 